Absol there's nothing to negotiate. Absolutely. And I would be very disappointed if Chief Justice Kome were to fall, was to fall for that obvious trick and fall into a trap. These institutions are clearly, clearly set out under the Constitution. Their responsibilities and mandate are clearly elaborated. Obviously, <laughs> I, I, and I'm waiting to see whether Chief Justice will receive uh, Gachagua when it's Thursday. He said he's going to lead a, a protest. I, I want to see that, because that will be that culmination of um, absurdity with regard to the relationship between the executive and the judiciary. So we are witnessing very absurd situations. And we must say, we must actually say enough is enough. Please leave the judiciary alone. Some others thought that uh, when I wore my robes and took part in, uh, in the protests called upon, which were called by our society's president, Bona Theory, they thought I organized that. Oh my goodness, these people have uh, a larger life <laughs> than, than I claim to. If I can marshal the whole of the law society to go and protest, then they better be very afraid. Another question. My name is Tony Cadena from Wales City. Cadena. Um, last year, by the end of the year, we saw a large number of members of parliament from the urban voters holding a meeting with the members from Mary to indicate that they are coming as units to the organization so that they can foster the same process. I don't know whether it's something mm. that we have These are caucuses, but I think that we can have. Who is it? Mishma Patrick. Were you in that meeting? Or Mole? Which of you was there? <laughs> I wasn't there. Like you, Gadenya, I saw. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for that question. Uh, I want to put you into a lot. Going forward, you are going to see more. And we are going to bring all the regions of this country together because we believe that we are the uniting factor and we are the de facto president 2027. Thank you. Wow. Yes, sir. It's also... But by the way, Meru is very close to, you know, to go to Mwingi town from Sekuru, right? It's farther than Sekuru, Meru town. What does that tell you? And I went to school in Meru. My father's second home is in Meru. I speak broken Kimeru. Sometimes it can be perfected. What does that tell you? So th these are my neighbors, these are my brothers and sisters. So if we can get together, no wonder there's a big movement of leaders from Meru actually joining this party. Oh, of course. This party is going to grow in leaps and bounds. And please watch that space. There's that, that, that amazing undercurrent. And people, like today I've just received uh, Wanakingori who was the number two in Lykipia, right? Joining the party. For me to take him seriously, he brought his own wife. And he told me, <laughs> he told me, this is my real wife. <laughs> <laughs> so I told him, listen, Mama I said, you are the real wife. How about the others? <laughs> <laughs> so people are coming around, and it is beautiful. Uh, when do you the it's ongoing. Oh, it's ongoing, but we're going to hold uh, as our, our sister parties are doing. This morning I spoke to my brother Ayla, he was in Vihiga, and uh, by the way, please media help us. There's no such thing as a Zimio La Umoja coalition falling apart. It's all in people's imagination because we are committed. We are committed. Differences of opinion here and there do not translate or cannot be taken as, 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 as problems within the coalition. We are very determined, more than ever before, to forge a unified position as a Zimeo La Moja One Kenya. And this morning at a meeting with Senator Gideon Moy of Kanu, okay, he is also solidly with us because when we are organizing those demonstrations, Gideon was always represented by the Secretary General Banawanaina. So uh, the, the, the coalition is as strong as ever. Yes, sir. Um, excuse me, Sabrina, from NTV. You mentioned that uh, the Deputy President, Mugabe Gashagua, has planned to hold 
I saw that. I'm sure you saw that. And he named a judge. Completely unethical. That's what I'm saying. I call that conduct up, absurd to the extreme. It doesn't happen anywhere. Yeah. No, not demonstration. He said he was going to the Supreme Court. Yeah. Maybe a protest, I think. No, he, he said a petition, to be fair to him. Yeah. Question, did he? Did he? Basically, what Raila was saying was he did not agree. And we still reiterate. Words like hot hair and things like that, we openly said we don't agree. Some of us are senior counsel, my friend. But when it comes to obeying the outcome and the decision of the Supreme Court, we were all bound. That's why at the level of the national dialogue, for example, the best we could come up with is agreement to, to at least do the audit of the process that led to this outcome. So this speaks to obedience and uh, pronouncements from you and criticisms of the judiciary. Would you compare what Raila has done to the statements by William Ruto? For sure. Raila never said, I would disobey. Eh, he never said that. So please be fair, because he knew the limits of uh, statements like that because he was the alternative head of state okay he was a head of state as far as we're concerned therefore he has to demonstrate leadership and fidelity to the constitution yes sir as at now you want us to <laughs> <laughs> TV 47, please have faith. Yeah. What does he not be advocating for? You know, we are coalition parties and, and bound as such as coalition partners and respect each other. But nothing uh, bars from ODM from saying we want to move in this direction. As, as you heard me say, they're already recruiting, they're already strengthening ODM. And so, as far as WIPA is concerned, they are very clear on the way they want to go. Of course, National Executive Council do not have the mandate to endorse a presidential candidate at this stage. But nothing prevents that presidential candidate from covering the length and the breadth of this country, introducing himself, consulting, consulting. Those are the words. Please note that, K27, <laughs> um, 47. We may not be meeting every day. By the way, we wanted to allow Kenyans to enjoy their holidays, all right? Whatever, whatever left, whatever was left of them to enjoy under this very difficult economic situation, all right? We are in constant consultation. You heard me tell you I'm talking to Raila. We are talking this morning. We had a meeting with Senator Gideon Moy. We are, I think the other day I met uh, Eugene, yeah? And uh, we've been talking to each other. We were with Mother Karua at the award of um, the Jurist of the Year Award at the French Embassy. We talk. But now, obviously, I agree with you, we need to have some formal sittings. And we're going to do that. And this will constitute uh, the necessary consultations.